Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Heretic Shadow of the Serpent Riders. On this episode, we are doing the third map of the Ossuary, which is the Ambulatory. Uh, sounds pretty ominous. And we got all these lovely um, time bombs here, so let's grab them. Alright, that was a little risky. If you do that, there's going to be a whole lot of um, crushing ceilings here, so... What I'm going to do is try to grab some of these time bombs here. And, um... That was a little close. But basically, there's a certain direction you can head where you can not get attacked by these ceilings somewhat. So I'm going to try to pick out that route, or, uh, route, or route for you, rather. And so there you go. And over here we've got three doors. Green, blue, and red. I'm sorry, <laughs> I can't even get my colors right today. Green, blue, and yellow. And so that's uh, where we're going to have to head eventually. And this is kind of a creative little level. I kind of like it. What I want to do here is I'm going to try to get these gargoyles stirred up. And I am going to go this way to see if I can use this crushing ceiling against the gargoyles and the golems. So we're going to have to wait and see what happens. Here's one over here. They're getting crushed a little bit. Sometimes they're smart enough to kind of figure out where to go. Sometimes they aren't. But I think it's more like trial and error. And I don't know how many more gargoyles are here. I don't know where they are. So I'm going to have to get them and um, try to get them over here. Okay, they're starting to come out now. I don't encourage you to speed through this like I am. I'm just kind of... Well, I've had a bit of practice. Oh, here they are. Here's one. Okay, we got another couple of gargoyles. There's 132 enemies in this uh, level, so... It is a little bit of a challenge. Okay, I'm not going to let him attack me. I'm just going to smooth this way. Okay, um... You mean to tell me he followed me without a problem? Well, anyways, there's more gargoyles coming. There's two more. I like using this side of the room because they want to go this way and then they really can't do much. You know. Let's see if we've got a few more gargoyles to contend with. A couple more. I don't care. I'll attack them this way now. It just takes forever to get that taken care of. Down here we've got a little... In shape, there's the Z shape or whatever you want to call it. Platform. M Motari Riseth. If anybody knows where that's from, I'll give you some points, I guess. And over here we've got a couple of golems. Um, I'm not going to get those just yet. Yeah. But we are going to probably use arrows soon. But we got the yellow key. And that flips a switch over here. Uh, but first, we've got to get rid of this undead warrior, so... The easiest thing to do is just kind of move around here. And hopefully he'll, um... Let's move over here, because that ceiling hasn't been triggered yet. Okay, these there are crushing ceilings over here, too, by the way. Let's see. Probably should have left that open for an escape route, but that's okay. We'll manage. Now over here... Um, oh, by the way, I didn't flip the switch. There's a switch over here. Stupid me. Whoa! Too close. There's a switch over here we forgot to hit, and some arrows. Okay, good. Um, this next section is pretty easy, I think. I just wish we had a few more fire orbs to clean up the, um, well, to get back, because uh, we're going to use the phoenix rod. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> fire orbs to get back, because you know the what is it. My English is not so good today. I'm just going to use this. See how many more we've got in here. Alright, that's good. I don't want splash damage on me. How many more are down here? Ooh, you shouldn't have hit me like that. What just hit me? Something hit me really hard. I'll well, screw it. I'll just grab some health. 
Big deal. I think it was one of those skulls. But we'll manage. Now that we got on here, everything looks pretty easy and fine and hunky dory, but things are gonna get a little more difficult, trust me. But not that bad. There's another gargoyle in here, I think. Okay, um, well, crap. Oh, and down here, I just want to go ahead and get these moving. That'll explode everything and will hurt you as well. But I'm not worried about my health too much right at this point. I mean, there's no reason to, because you're going to get attacked pretty soon. I'm more worried about ammunition at this point. By the way, up here is another switch. I'm gonna trigger these time. Get ready. Uh, get ready to use these time bombs, rather. And here's a bunch of uh, ammo that would be nice to have. And down here, well, I'm gonna wait till this kind of lowers first, because I do not want to wait for it. There it goes. And we're full on health now. And of course, down here we got some iron liches. I don't know if they really helped, but I'm gonna get out of here. If I can, I think I tornadoed. Got tornadoed by one of them. Alright, let's pull out the dragon claw now. Where are you, iron liches? Okay, um, a tornado's coming after me. Or I thought it was. Okay, it wasn't. I might use the rest of the time bombs on this guy. Let's see, is there a tornado coming after me? Not yet. Okay, that's enough time bombs for now. I'm gonna try to save them. I forgot about the tornado. God. Whoa! Where the hell are these tornadoes coming from? Oh, I know they were where they're coming from, but oh, by the way, that's where the iron go the not the iron golems. That's where the flame golems are coming from. Those little things on the side. So yeah, there's some health in here. So that's why I wasn't too worried about health. I mean, I'm, you're gonna get damaged if you play like I do. In other words, if you're sloppy like I am, you are gonna get hit. So big deal. There's a couple more iron liches down here. I'm gonna see what we can do to get rid of them. Whoa! Another tornado. God, I hate these damn tornadoes. Did I get rid of them? Nope, another one. I don't know where it went. I think it's like, they have some sort of a sound effect, like it's actually... Um... Rustling leaves or something, and there's no leaves anywhere. So go figure. Uh, we got some uh, dragon claw claw orbs left, so I'm gonna use that in these iron liches. Um, if I can get rid of them. Oh god, why did you have to throw a tornado at me? I mean, seriously. But guess what? We can go this way. There's no tornadoes coming this way. I mean, it is symmetrical. They do have a lot of symmetry in these levels, which is fairly nice. Um, did I get rid of them? Or, yeah, I think I got rid of the iron liches. So, there you go. Time bombs are useful, but I'm going to save a few for later in case I need them. Got the green key now, so we could head to another area, but... I'm not worried about it just yet. I'm going to head up this way first. I just hope there's not 20 molotars in this level. There's a molotar, but we don't have a, um... A real good way to take care of them. Well, I don't know. I don't have a tome of power yet. I do have a ring of invincibility, but I'm not going to use it yet. And this is, goes back uh, to where this was, by the way, so we can hit that switch if we need to. And if you can hear, they have a little bit of a scream when they get... Uh, oh, here's a little secret area. Here's some 
May Spheres. Those will come in handy. I really would like to, like to have a Tome of Power, but since, um, I mean, the visibility, Invincibility Ring is not really going to help me very much for that Molotar. If I can find a Tome of Power, it'd be great. If there's just like 20 Disciples of Despair, then great, I could find it, no problem. I could probably push the Molotar over into the um, Crusher, but it'll take forever for him to be crushed by these things. Because each crush is maybe like 100 HP, and he's got 3,000, so... It's not going to be a very efficient way of getting rid of him. And I'm gonna, I'm not going to deal with this guy. I'm just going to crush him that way. I'm not dealing with that. The crusher takes too long. I've got the ammo. So anyways. Hopefully we'll find a Tome of Power in this level. That would be nice. So anyways, we haven't gone that way yet. Or this way, rather. We can't go that way just yet. Um, you know, we got the um, Phoenix Rod. I heard one get killed there. Alright, let's get through here. There is a little bit of a kick with the Phoenix Rod, of course. And I think one is over here. Nope, we got rid of him. We got some ice down here, I believe. Or water, or something. I'm not used to this new texture pack yet. I think that is ice. Well, that was weird. Whoa! I saw you, Gollum. You know what? You're, you're a classic example of why... I don't want the morph of them. You're a classic example of... Uh, I'm getting barraged by these enemies. I think they're finding a way back up here. There we go. And of course, this looks like something. Well, it might be. There's a little bit of a... Ah! Ah, disciples. I just hope these disciples will give me a, um, whatchamacallit. Uh, let's see if they give me a, dome, a tome of power. A dome of tower. Another invincibility ring. Maybe we can use those back to back. That would be nice. I could use a. Um, oh, that was quick. Let's use the last Phoenix rod on the sky. I want to split them. Well, not the last one, but at least one Phoenix rod. Fire orb on him. Oh, this will lower this, by the way. I hear the disciples. I don't know where they are. Crap. There it is. Coordination. What's that, right? We don't need coordination. And this gives us a bunch of these guys. I'm just going to take them out one by one. The problem is, is that um, they're in such close quarters that this <laughs> flaming skull is headed at me, this ghost rider. And he's not too bad. I don't know what my time is on this map. 14 minutes, man, not too bad. Yeah, here's the Tome of Power. I'm going to use that in the Molotar. Um, and I hear some disciples around here. Oh, hello. I'll get that eventually. Oh, torch would be nice. I'm not going to use a torch, I don't think. There's never really been a point in this game so far where, I mean, a torch was absolutely necessary. There's one part in one of the levels where it was kind of nice to have it. But it's never been extremely necessary, you know. Like, you could live without it. I bet you this is going to open up a lot of enemies somewhere. We're just going to have to find a way to get to that blue key. Grab some ammunition. Oh, now we got the Toma Power. And this is uh, the back entrance to that. Let's check the map, make sure there's no other places we haven't gone up here. There's a little area up here we haven't accessed just yet. Oh, this is the switch over here, I believe. 
There it goes. I'm not used to this texture pack yet. There it goes. Oh, doesn't open up a whole lot of enemies to me left. Doesn't open up a whole lot of enemies for me. But that's okay. Um, that's pretty much that area. And you can see there's some stuff that way. And um, you can see there's kind of a little area this way. Here's the disciples that opened up on me. I hope they give me a Tome of Power. There's not many of them. Nope, no Tome of Power. But I got the Chaos Device in case I need it. Okay, so Molotar is what we're going to have to deal with next. Great. What am I doing? Let's go back this way. If I can remember where the Molotar is. Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll find him. Which way is he? I think he was... I think he was over this way. Yeah, he was this way. He wasn't that way. That way was this way. I think the Molotar was up here. Um, I think... Yeah, there he is. So... You ready? Let's take care of this dude, Lorino. This is the best way to take care of a Molotar, but I'm probably going to waste a whole Tome of Power for this level for this one guy. Whatever. These episodes, these videos are going to be probably long unless I cut them down a little bit. But I don't care. We're going to have fun. Okay, we got him. The Tome of Power did run out a little bit, but um, that's quite all right. Now we got a bunch of disciples down here that are, meh, whatever. They'll probably give me a Tome of Power, maybe. Um, I don't know. Okay, um, we got rid of the Molotar. There's a few disciples up here that are remaining. I'm not gonna deal with them just yet. My life is actually pretty good. Ah, <laughs> that was a really rhetorical statement, wasn't it? My life is really good. Um, actually, there's a couple of um, things up here. I'm going to fire a phoenix rod because, if I'm not mistaken, there's actually a disciple up here, and I'd like to see if we can attack him or at least damage him somewhat. A disciple on both of these sides. Okay, good. And up here, we should have a disciple. And the Fire Mace, which is nice. And a Morph of them, which is also nice. Couldn't have used that on the Molotar, that's for damn sure. Um, I don't know if I killed him or not. You seriously are going to fly away from me like that? There we got him. I'm surprised my health is where it is right now. I'm surprised, uh, well, it's a little lower now. That's a really damaging floor, so. It looks like there's something up here, by the way. Well, we'll worry about that later. Um, you can see it's kind of a little opening to somewhere else. So, actually, let's take a look at that. That may be a bit of a challenge to get to. Um, let's go to this other area. Okay, these crushing ceilings are nice. But anyways, we've got um, a secret around here. Right here is one of the secrets. And this will open up to where the Iron Liches were. A couple of, uh... So there we go. We got another Tome of Power, which is nice. Now this is a little cage above the Iron Liches. And that's nice. We can watch them. You know, kind of little zoo, I suppose. Um, I just, just walked right into that and I barely survived. Whatever. And, of course, there's going to be a ghost in here. It's not really that bad. I mean, take the arrows with them and you get rid of them. 
And we got 95 of 132 enemies, so guess what? They're gonna be more enemies here. Big deal. We can do it. I've got another Tome of Power in case we encounter another Molotar. We'll be okay. Possibly we'll be okay. Um, I'm guessing we'll be okay. Maybe. Uh, if you look over here, there's a little door over here. Well, it'll open up later. But, um... We went this way. There's a little area over to the left and the right here. We can't access this just yet. But the blue switch area is where we need to go next. And, um... I believe that's this way... No, it's the other way. Yeah, it's this way. Yeah, sorry, this level's gonna be a little long. That was really smart, wasn't it, William? Yes, that's my name. But I've mentioned that several times in other Let's Play videos, so... Hey, if you can't figure out what my name is by now, hey... Stalk me later. Great. Yeah, there's gonna be more enemies around. Oh, wand crystal. I don't need the wand crystal. Um, I heard some disciples around here. I don't like the close quarters of this. Gee, I wonder what this could be. Jesus, something really got me there. I'm gonna grab this. I think I've got a mystic urn left. Maybe. I'm not worried about it yet. Whoa. Flame orb. Fire orb. Infernal orb. Whatever they are. Okay, there we go. There's my Mystic Urn. Okay, okay. We've got some health and health. And i got a Mystic Urn in case I need it. Um, you know, we've got a whole bump boatload of quartz flasks, too. So it's not like... Um, we're in dire straits here. Oh, and if you take a look here, there looks like there's a little area, but it doesn't look like it's connected, so... We'll have to go some other places here. And we've gone that way. Um, let's see... We've gone that way, we've gone that way. It's the blue area where we haven't really gone yet, and if you go that way... and head over here, that's where the blue area is. Right here. Huh, looks pretty safe, right? Whoa! That's just a bunch of these. I'm just gonna wait till they come out here. Whoa! You're not too bright, are you, Mr. Disciple? I hope I get a boatload of tomes of power from these guys, but I may not. Damn. See? I got some of them. I got a Tome of Power. The armor helps, too. So I can take a few hits more than most would. And I know there's going to be possibly some more around here. That's a nice switch. Phoenix Rod. Huh. Thought there's going to be more than that. And there's going to be another switch over here. And we got 119, 132, so obviously there's going to be more enemies that we have to face. But we've got the map scroll, so we'll figure it out. And... What, no Iron Lich in here? thought there would be. I'm um, just kidding. There's not. But there are some enemies over here. There seems to be another area over here. So let's take care of these guys. How much you want to bet there's going to be another Molotar in here? I don't remember anything about the last part of the level, or this section. This is really cool, right? Look at all the enemies. Look at all the enemies in here, the neat little torches, and everything. The level design's really cool in here. Um, we got an Iron Lich, but I uh, can't really do much against him. Can't really do much against him, but we can kind of do this number. Actually, what we probably would want to do is an Invincibility Ring. Since we've got like 800 of them. So let's do that.
There we go. <laughs> and we got yet another invincibility ring. So there you go. Iron Lich was easy. And we still got some uh, health left. 131 out of 132. There's one enemy left, but we got to kill, and I've got to find it. So don't know where it'll be. Maybe it's a disciple somewhere. Or a gargoyle somewhere, or maybe a golem somewhere. I'll have to find it. That'd be funny if it was a Molotar. What's this? That's over that way. It's probably a secret area I haven't accessed or something of that nature. Um, looks like there's also a little area up here that I haven't accessed. Looks like there's a little area up here that goes that way. Oh, that's not a secret area, though. That's just a little area, period. Where could the last monster be? There's a little area in here I haven't visited, so let's go over there. It's nice that they give you this little area to the side where you don't have to do a whole lot to... Um... There it is. That's the last monster. And I think that covers the level. And the Wings of Wrath, in case we need it, which we don't. <laughs> so, yeah, I think it's time to exit the level now. Um, let's do that. What did I do? I don't want to go that way. And that exits that way. We want to go south to the exit. So I think that takes care of it. Um, yeah. Ambulatory is now finished. 100%, 95%, 100%. I'll accept that. Now it's uh, the Sepulchre. So thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.